Gearstrophasm. Right. Welcome everybody to 42 Gear Street 2. Uh, I'm Adam Steele from Hot Pole Studios and with me today is the one and only Mr. Jack Gardner. Oh man, far too kind. Man, it's a pleasure to be here, Adam. <laughs> Thank um, you. Man. I've been looking forward to actually being able to jam. That's been yeah, a big thing. Jams. It was a heck of a mess setting things up. But yeah, we've got a rather uh, complicated setup in here for this. Uh, so one thing that we wanted to do in this video was talk about using an angle amp and we ended up going with the fireball uh, not using it for just like metal but using it for lower gain stuff because having tested them this week i've been jaw on the floor with like was that the first time you've used one in it's a literally the first time i've ever played an angle yeah yeah and we're both there like oh tasty i honestly had it in my mind like you said that it was an amp solely designed for metal purposes, really, you know? Yeah. But no, that that cleans up really nicely. I mean, bear in mind, I have rolled the volume down a little bit there. Yeah. But still, the characteristics... The fact that it with. does that, I mean, a lot of metal amps, it's you wind the volume back and it's gain, 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 off. off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, at the same time, I'm running something from Engel, but I'm, I'm using a, a bass with the Bagley Guitars aluminium neck, so it's super crystal clear with that. I mean, it's got fingerprints all over it because the mirror finished, that's going to happen. <laughs> but I'm running behind me into a Palmer Pocket Bass DI, which is the clean underneath tone, which sounds like this. And then on top, I'm chaining that into an angle power ball from Synergy. So the Synergy module is preamp only. And I'm using this Friedman. I'm using a lot of amp just to hear some fold back because I'm playing a bass yeah, through a guitar amp. I know it's not going to blow it up because it's not loud. This is kind of speaking volume just so I can hear it. In the edit, you're going to hear the uh, Powerball through the DI out with a cabinet on that. So don't worry, we're not going to blow up any cabs by using a 100 watt guitar head with a bass. <laughs> it's not killing us in here. It's, it's fine. But yeah, blending the slight gain on the top here from the angle is really giving me a bit of crunch. Yes, isn't it? it's almost Billy Sheenus, could you say? Well, as soon as I press this button, it is. It's definitely that kind of... Yeah, you can go silly with it. And for certain parts of it, if I was doing a full show, that'd be great for that standing out bit, because then I, mean, I could some, do something that bass players never do, which is dial my volume back. <laughs> If, if you really put some practice in playing bass, you can get more dynamics than people realise. I was just about to say that when you did that, the control and the way that... that so your volume, did you even turn that down when you did that? Or that was that all the yeah. control of the fingers? Yeah, yeah, it's all just my fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I do that um, whenever I play a, a big show. I have a relatively high gain bass sound. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've usually, on my bass, got a pick holder on the body. Ah, yes. So um, for certain things, I can just go... That's on the red channel with the gain up. Or I can, with a pick, just... Yes. Or with my hands, I can... And then I've usually got a compressor after that to bring the level up. Yes. But mm -hmm. that means it's within my power then to stand out the right. Because when you're playing with the drummer and you've got that... Then they go for a big... got the dynamic flow then that you want, hasn't it? You yeah, know, absolutely. Yeah. Having that gain on tap, uh, I find really useful. Mm -hmm. uh, quite often I won't have that much gain on tap <laughs> on the red channel, but even on the clean channel I can go from... <laughs> and pull some gain out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, especially if the drummer goes, da, 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 and just puts a little accent on. On the hit. Yeah, and if it's a drummer that I know fairly well, I can see it coming, I can do it with them. Yes. And you get that real pow kind of thing. Impact. That, yeah, 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 there's nothing worse playing slow blues than just for six minutes. Exactly. Put some orchestration in there, people. Get dynamics. something going. Yes. But yeah, it seems that dynamics are the order of the day here. I've been so pleasantly surprised by these. With um, I'm running the Powerball section, and you're running the Fireball Twenty Five. Right. So I'm going to put this down for a second, just so I can run to the back, uh, and I'm going to switch it to the clean on the amp. If you want to give us a bit of a something and I'll back the gain off, mm -hmm. bring it back up because 
my philosophy with most clean tones on guitar is always push it a bit, get a bit of grit. Oh out of yeah, it. you want a bit of like you know dirt. But that's the same philosophy for me. Mm-hmm. Totally, is, man. Yeah, coming from a production standpoint as well, I yeah, if you can get a guitarist who's happy to roll it off. Yes. It's a different feel to just having clean. It doesn't have to always be on 10, does it? <laughs> no. So I'm going to run to the back and spoil the camera angles. <laughs> Although I'm going to try my best to do my Carol Vorderman impression on the angle. Oh, nice. My lovely angle. Would you like a vowel or a consonant? <laughs> <laughs> right, so if I take the gain back on here, turn the master up a little. Mm-hmm. This is the clean channel now. Just bear in mind, I'm going to play with my volume actually full up and maybe I should roll. We'll, we'll start with it full up and see what yep. we get. <laughs> Would you like me to roll that down? Uh, that will just try. This is without the mid boost button. Okay. say that's almost tube screamery yes not quite but there's yeah. an element of that definitely there yeah. isn't there you know but yeah if i turn the gain up on this that was with the eq at like six four six so a bit of a mid scoop mm-hmm. yeah. if i push the mids now and the gain Ooh. and you roll your volume back yeah that is lovely And of course, that reacts the same way you had with the bass. It's to the peak attack and the strength of Very that, isn't much. it? You know, yeah. so. Or if, if I join in with that with my low end rolled out. Yeah, yeah, man, let's do it. So just in E, yeah. two, three, four. <laughs> that worked. Yeah. And that's with an angle. Well impressed. Yes. And but so if I I'm gonna whack it onto the lead channel now, but put the gain on full, silly. <laughs> Just to see what happens. Oh, it's got an inbuilt noise gate on the angle, by the way, which we turned off because of the way that Jack works with uh, volume control. Mm-hmm. But with a single coil, if I get the lead channel now. <laughs> So I'll just put the noise gate on, just, just so it stays. <laughs> Less just hissy. so it stops that. Yes. There. Mm-hmm. That's with the gain on full. That's yeah, nice. that's the angle we know and love. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> but then I'll bet you, if you because that, that's with the mid boosting and the gain on 11. Oh, yes. 
So was it. was that on like in between settings? Yes, I can put that back there for you if you like. So um, well, I was gonna say if we try like I don't net pick up and roll tone off a little, that's yeah, gonna be a liquid. Let's give that a try, man. That's so, gonna be a liquid. Do you want the tone. volume full up on my guitar? Let's oh. see what you you t- you tell me. Okay. <laughs> Almost sounds like fuzz. Like yeah. I so, don't think I can hear an octave. Sorry there. Can almost you? yeah. Yeah well, yeah. To compensate for it being so gainy, I took the treble down a bit and back the presence below twelve o'clock. Right. So it's not melting our faces off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that seems to have really done the trick. The mids are quite high on there. But yeah, with the does that and with the mid boost, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all the mids. That's what I love. <laughs> yeah, and that just really is singing. And yeah, I put the noise gate in just a little, just so we don't get that silly kind of <laughs> in everything, so we can talk. I mean, I know there's been a little buzzing in the background from this, from this, but that's the crazy wiring in here, and the fact that I've had to do it in twenty minutes. <laughs> oh boy, it's a bit stressful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So the last thing I'm going to say is thank you everybody for watching, and then we're going to end on a little jam. Uh, so it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on, Jack. Oh man, no, thank you, honestly, mate. It's made my day. I never expected that amp to be able to do that. This week's full of surprises. <laughs> what, what else are you going to cook up for me? <laughs> oh, well, let's see. But yeah, um, everybody, look for the hashtag forty two gs two for more videos from Jack and from everybody here. It's being absolutely amazing. There haven't been many videos released by us yet because we're storing them up and filming them in a rush of madness. But over the next couple of weeks, you'll see a flood of stuff. And I'm very much looking forward to watching everybody's videos because I'm so busy filming, I don't get to see half of it. (laughs) So everybody, thank you for subscribing and watching and go and watch uh, Jack's stuff and check out everybody else as well. Man, many thanks for having me on again, Adam. Anytime. Now let's turn up all the gain and have a bit of a silly <laughs> silly outro. Um, you, you lay it down, man, and I'll go. <laughs> right. Well, in my head, I've almost got surfing with the alien, but in A. Oh, man, I don't know that not, one. Not actually that. <laughs> okay. Because, okay. you know, you must know it. The uh, I know the song, but... Oh. Yeah, we can... We so, can play. N- not that chord structure, but that, that kind of... Let's go for it. Here we go. One, two, and one, two, three.